In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a screencast or screen recording with PowerPoint desktop. That's right, PowerPoint now has a screen recorder built in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open PowerPoint from your uh, launch the PowerPoint app. You can click on your start menu in Windows or however you launch apps and just search for PowerPoint. And there it is. I'm going to click to launch PowerPoint. And she's coming up now. Okay, and then I'll just go to blank presentation. All right, so here I am. I got my first title slide. Great, I'm ready to start working. Now, I'm not making a PowerPoint. I'm not, I'm not doing slides. I'm just going to do a recording, okay? But all I need is one slide to do this. So now I'm going to go up to Insert. And then I'm going to go all the way over to the right, all the way over here. It says Media. When you click on Media, you're going to get three options. Video, Audio, and Screen Recording. That's for screencasting. So I'm going to click Screen Recording. And you notice PowerPoint just minimized itself. Boom. Gone. It's out of the way. The reason it does that is because it knows you're not going to be doing a screencast inside of the PowerPoint. You probably want to screencast something outside of it. So um, now I can um, have full access to my desktop and other apps. Now, up here at the very top, you're also going to see a toolbar that popped up. And um, you see it has a microphone. Um, this means it's going to record my um, from my mic so I can narrate. It's also going to record my mouse pointer. If you don't want that recorded, you can click to turn off the mic, and you can click to turn off record pointer. But I actually want these, so I'm going to click them both, have them on. The next step is to select the area that you want to record. Now, you may not want to record your entire screen. Maybe you just want to record a portion of it. So I'm going to click Select Area, and then I get these crosshairs, right? And so I'm going to start at the very, I want to record the whole screen. So I'm going to come over here to the very top left. I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to drag, and you can see these red dashed lines. This is the border of the frame that is going to be recorded. And so if I wanted to, I could only, you know, maybe I just wanted to record half the screen. I could do that. But I'm doing the entire screen, so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom right and let go. Okay, so I've selected the area I want to record. Now I'm going to start recording. So i got the red record button here. I'm going to click that. It's going to give me a three-second countdown. And then I'm going to quickly narrate uh, and, and explain this website that I'm on, Educational Technology. Um, if I wanted to, I could go to a different website. I could bring up a document if I wanted to you know, open my files and bring up a document and talk about that. I could bring up a whiteboard and use my stylus or my finger to draw things on a whiteboard, whatever I want to record. All right, so I'm going to hit my record button, and here we go. Three, two, one. All right, so welcome to the Educational Technology website. Here you can access all kinds of great tutorials and information on how to use different tools in our school district. You got staff tools here, you got classroom tools, you got digital literacy resources. And so you can click into staff tools and you can then browse a list of the different apps that we use in our school district. And then you can select one and learn more information about it. All right, enjoy. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm gonna click stop up here where the toolbar is. And the video stops recording. It has now dropped that video into my PowerPoint slide. And it filled the entire screen. So now you'll see I can play back this video. So as you can see, I did a great job recording my screen, recording my narration. It's showing all the movement of my mouse, recorded everywhere I clicked. And so now, um, the next piece we're going to learn is how do we save this out as a video file? Because right now, this is still just content within a PowerPoint file. And that's not really the ideal way to share this out. I'm not going to save this PowerPoint and send it to my students, right? The ideal way to do it is to publish this as a video file 
and then upload it to a video service like YouTube or Microsoft Stream, or I can then provide a link to the video and they can go watch it online. So that's in the next video. Stay tuned.